it seems like Drake maybe can't do it anymore. Like he can't yeah. he can't come up with rap songs that are appealing to either the masses or people that are in their thirties or um the content is not there. It it just it's not it's not working. Drake's new album. Uh, the anticipation. <laughs> the lead up. <laughs> the excitement. OVO October, you know, Drake. His first like studio album since uh uh no certified lover boy yeah. uh two years C-O-B. ago you yeah. know this this was for Crazy all the that dogs was two years ago right now yeah yeah Crazy. i know for all the dogs man we talked about the singles leading up to this we did um and we talked about how we weren't really fans we of, were of disappointed the we were disappointed and uh unfortunately <clears throat> that continued <laughs> yeah you were you know still hopeful you were doubtful that the album would drop. I didn't, I didn't know, yeah, I didn't you know, think it was. but you were actually hopeful that the album, actually, you're pretty confident that the album would sound better than the mid singles that he released. Yeah. I was, I was pretty doubtful because I didn't really like Certified Lover Boy or Scorpion or Views. Like I liked some of the projects in between, but whenever Drake puts out like a full rap album, I haven't been a fan for a long Hasn't time. Hasn't been hitting. No, no. And, and, uh, the case, uh, the case is that it seems like Drake maybe can't do it anymore. Like he can't, yeah. he can't come up with rap songs that are appealing to um, either the masses or people that are in their thirties or um, the content is not there. It, it just, it's not, it's not working. I mean, you listened to it, right? You you said it dropped right before your trip. To Dude, I, I wasted the whole hour long ride to JFK Damn. listening to this album, and the whole time me and Nat are just sitting there like, no, no, no. Okay, this one's all right. No, no. <laughs> like, Damn. just upset in a lot of corny lines. Like, and and Nat is the queen of corny. She loves the little corny <laughs> jokes, the the, this, corny. the knee slappers. But uh, <laughs> it, it was not. It was not good. Damn. He and ruined your, your car ride up to JFK, did. man. You had you feeling like, damn, I'm in the car ride. I need to be like JFK. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm listening to it, hoping and it's going to get me amped up and everything. And it just did the opposite. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Drake let you down. I think mm-hmm. he let down a lot of people. Um, I, personally, I listened to the album like, three times um since it dropped Mm -hmm. like two and a half times the first day and i think in the weekend i tried again but you know i was like okay it's not it's not bad it's not great but more or less way more skips than anything i would go back to i will say i really like first person shooter with j cole which you know yeah j cole got his first number one single congrats to cole he's deserved it for a long time and of course he did his his usual assassin shit on that song yeah i would i I mean i wouldn't say he deserved that for a long time because he's not known for a lot of hits like i mean we like his albums but he he's not the hit maker that drake is i mean drake even started getting his number ones like when he put out scorpion and and his number ones aren't even our favorite songs of his True. so True. i feel like cole you know I, i'm happy he has the accolades but he don't do it for that drake does it for for that and mm-hmm. i feel like that's where the music is lacking and and cole like you said he came on that track like an assassin he <laughs> he did his thing and um but hey this this was actually drake's i don't know how many uh number ones he had but he tied michael jackson man how do you feel about that yeah i know you're a bit of an mj fan right like how you feel about your boy drake tying him i think it sucks <laughs> because honestly the only reason that drake is tying him is because like you just said a lot of the songs that he's gotten number ones for for they're not even songs that a lot of us like mm. and um i think it's just you know he puts his name on something and people that are his fans people that are not his fans people that just casually listen to music they all run to it streaming yeah mm. yeah and um you know that's fine he's uh, the most popular rapper possibly one of the most popular artists in the world um but it's just skewing the numbers for sure big time 
the the numbers do not equate to the quality of his music yeah i have to agree um you know I, i'm a fan of drake i saw him live twice this year um Oof. both great performances he yeah. did a lot of his throwback stuff which i really appreciated mm -hmm. but uh, yeah not feeling this album i will say the cordy lines do get to me and i, I it's something i thought about uh i feel like the more drake like raps and talks the worse it is like that's why i like honestly never mind because it's really simplified stuff it's yeah. like you know it, i feel like it's good in small doses but mm -hmm. when once he starts talking too much shit like you know him taking shots at rihanna i feel like was just so unnecessary and petty and he's been in super petty mode uh the last month and i'm like if you're rolling out a project why are you focusing on so much on you know people per, people's perception and people who i guess you would call haters he would call haters like we talked about him going after charlemagne mm -hmm. then he's going after rihanna who has never said anything publicly bad about him yeah. he was and he started off by saying i don't know why people think i'm so hung up on you and then he spends the next 10 lines talking about how he, he he doesn't care because but like it's like if you don't care why spend so much time addressing it and then after the album comes out you know joe budden from the joe budden podcast you know he he gave his honest review and i mm -hmm. i didn't even think it was that bad it wasn't it wasn't i did listen to that episode the one behind the paywall <laughs> i missed but uh they they were really gracious um i, I think it was more so in a way pleading with drake like please please just take some time we miss the old drake <laughs> like this is this is mid um we love you we care about you we want you to do better like it was it was the nicest review telling him that this project was not it that i i think they could have done they could have killed him yeah they could have gone on there and roasted the shit out of him and they didn't and uh they could have killed him like j cole killed him on that track yeah but, hey. <laughs> no literally literally and uh he had a whole paragraph to say about joe button he said that at joe button and this was on instagram you have failed at music Oof. you left it behind to do what you were doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills for any artist watching just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success a quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity mm. you switch careers because the things that pop into your brain you had you broke living check to check i like the way he spelled check um <laughs> and then the raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty nyc jeans to, that's disrespectful <laughs> nyc jeans where that was a wave for a while um to screw up their face to mute mood music 29 and pretend you are the goat he also offered some advice he said uh please to any artist that's doing what they feel is right don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact this guy is the poster child of frustration and surrendering you retired and you never hung up your jersey oh we never hung up your jersey we don't even remember your number he paul pierced him he said they don't love you like that. Well, Draymond greened him, I guess. Paul yeah. Pierce was the victim. In yeah, he was, the, he was the victim. He was the victim. <laughs> we know you for doing this. You withdrew from rap not because you accomplished all you need to. It's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in the generations to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need to, me to put it in simpler terms, I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions. Damn. <laughs> and then in, uh, in peak button fashion, he just hit him with a one-liner. You'll grow up sooner or later. Father time is undefeated. Uh, Drake, Drake, Drake. You know, I feel like if anyone's projecting <laughs> their their you know failures, it's it's Drake because he knows he's been putting out weak ass music. Is you know what I had said when he was going after Charlemagne. Because if he really felt confident in this, I mean, even him like posting the picture on Instagram with the Michael Jackson glove, like celebrating him passing MJ, or him having more hits than the Beatles and getting the Beatles and himself tattooed on himself. Like he's someone who has to constantly remind himself and, and other people how successful he is because he's still trying to prove 
to the world that he's this guy, but yeah. it's really not him, in, in my opinion. I, I feel like I like it more when he's more simplified and sincere, doesn't have that pressure to you know mm-hmm. get the approval because that's why I like his projects when he's with 21 Savage or yeah. he's doing more house music because I'm, he don't, I feel like he's, he's not trying to live up to some idea of, oh, a super rap superstar. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it's really lame. I think he's been on a real lame tear the last few weeks um i mean it's cool him you know being a dad now and yeah. you know doing the song with his son adonis or his, his son adonis song so that's a cool moment but even you know that doesn't kind of make anyone forget about you being super bitter when you're supposed to be happy especially you going after rihanna and rocky who are a happy family now yeah when we all know rocky was with your baby mom um I'm not sure if she was pregnant at the time, but maybe you should <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, a lot of nastiness. A lot of nastiness. I will say, at some point, once he matures, as <laughs> as, as uh, Joe was saying, he's going to have to revisit Push and have a serious conversation and thank that man. He's going to have to thank him for the fact that he was forced to be a real dad and take ownership of his son and be a part of his life and, and put him on album covers and have freestyles and all this other stuff like push did that yeah man and speaking of push man if rocky did smash his baby mom when she was pregnant then something was pushed and i <laughs> don't want to say <laughs> knock 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 oh my god troy did you did you Who's listen there? to the drake album <laughs> No, I didn't get a chance to listen to it yet. And I'm, after this review, I'm not, not really rushing <laughs> not out to, it. to do it. That's, That's fair. You didn't That's hear fair. the Cole song, at least? No, I heard that one, and I heard 8 a.m. in Charlotte, which I like the, I like both of those songs. Both of those are good. Those are good, but and I mean, pretty I'm much the 23 Drake songs yeah. for any time yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a lot to ask for. I mean, the, the Charlotte song, it was okay, but like you said, I don't like too many Drake bars. Like it, it, he, no, he needs to edit himself a little bit better. <laughs> Like, just overall, like, honestly, that's why, it's, you know, him talking shit about people who take their time with their music. Maybe you should fucking take your time, Drake. Take your fucking time next time. Yeah. And, I mean, if you don't, I don't know. Maybe, you know, he said he is taking time off from music because of his stomach problems. So, you know, get healthy, man. It would make me sick to my stomach if everybody was roasting my, my project, too. Yeah. But uh, I don't know that... He's going to change. Um, his team clearly thinks like this is great work that he's putting out. And at the end of the day, he's being rewarded. I, I think they said first week, 420,000 uh, copies. Yeah. Yeah, it's impressive still. I mean, especially in this climate. But we saw the, the, the single with SZA go number one on Billboard and fall right mm-hmm. off the next week. So a lot of, a lot of this is hype in yeah. streaming games. And, it you know, is. I got multiple no- notifications from Spotify telling me, oh, Drake's album dropped, Drake's album dropped. So the machine is behind them. And, yeah. um, you know, he's putting in his work. But, you know, I, I just wish that he would make better music. But at this point, he's given us enough. Uh, he's never been a guy with uh, you know the classic albums, but I will say I'm looking forward to Cole's next project, man. The Someone who, who is taking his time with it, and he's been assassinating, uh, m- you know, multiple tracks popping up on multiple shows. Uh, he popped up at Fifty Cent. We saw him. He was you know popped up with Drake multiple times on yep. tour. I just saw he was at um at, at Black's concert recently. Mm-hmm. So Cole, you know. He's in a different phase, so I'm looking forward to hearing from him. And also, ASAP Rocky. Uh, I wonder if he's going to respond. Do you think he should respond um, since, you know, Drake was pretty much taking shots at him and, and his wife? ASAP's been quiet for a long time. When was his last uh, album? His, yeah, it's been it's a 2018, while. five years. Testing wow. came out. I, I would love to hear, like, a joint asap and, and rihanna project i feel like that shit would be fire <laughs> really i don't think i would ever want to hear that per- i love them both as artists but i don't know I don't, they're making music together i'm not i think sure. if they do it right that shit could be crazy but who knows what they're doing i mean they're, they're we, we know what parents. they're doing they're yeah. making babies <laughs> they're, they're, they're back making, to back making parents <laughs> <laughs> oh man Subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. All the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere.